Hello, everyone, and welcome to Unitronics webinar. My name is Ophir Levy, and I'm the head of the technical support in Unitronics. Today's webinar will discuss how important it is to have the ability to remote access your machine or application, especially these days that the coronavirus does not allow most people to go to work and operate their machine as they do on a daily basis. The information we will talk about is also true in other cases where access to the machine is limited for any other reason. Remote access is actually the ability to control your machine from off-site. This has always been a valuable tool, nice to have, convenient. When used correctly, it can save you time and money. But now, remote access is vital because it enables you to interact with your PLC from anywhere. System can fail. It doesn't matter how perfectly you plan and implement your project. Production orders will fluctuate dynamically and you must be able to change a batch of recipes instantly. The reality of the coronavirus has made clear that there will be times when you or your staff will not be able to reach the physical site. And this is why remote access is not nice to have. It is a must have. So there can be many cases where you will need to remote access your machine, such as uh, quarantine or sheltering at home, like these days, reduced travel options, or let's say the site is very far from your current location, physical access to the machine is limited, or you need to perform rapid changes in production while you are not on site. There are many cases where you must act immediately in order to avoid machine downtime, and this can be solved by remote access. Remote access enables you to interact with your PLCs, control your application from anywhere at any time. Let's see some scenarios where remote access is essential. The first scenario is a machine malfunction. So let's say you cannot leave home, half of your factory staff is under quarantine, and you receive the text message from your machine that the machine has a problem, the machine is malfunctioning, what do you do? Simple, implement remote access. Connect to your Unitronics PLC via VNC, web server, or remote operator, using your PC, mobile, or tablet, of course. Troubleshoot and fix the malfunction and continue to monitor the machine functionality. Another scenario, let's say order was changed by your customer. As we mentioned before, you are not able to get to the production site and your customer is calling and asking for an order change. You must act immediately before the production starts. What can you do? Easy. You can use our features like FTP server, SQL, or SDCAR suite to remotely modify the production recipe, transfer the data, and your PLC will start automatically the production according to the new recipe. One more example, there is no technician available on site. You build a machine and delivered it to the customer site, but there is no technician that can help in setting up the system. What do you do? Okay. Very easy, from your location, connect to the machine, perform setup and commissioning according to the customer requirements, including any integrated Unitronics VFDs or servos. One other scenario can be is when your customer requested a new feature addition or changing existing feature. In this case, very easily, you can edit the application and remote access with our programming environment and download and update the application. So as you understand now more than ever before, you must be able to access and control your application from anywhere at any time. Unitronics remote access enables you to monitor and interact with your application as you, you were on site, standing next 
to the PLC. With your electronics tools and PLCs, you can control and monitor the application from anywhere, remote troubleshooting, set up and commission your system, update or change your application off-site, modify and implement recipes. And all I mentioned just now has no cost, no licensing, and very easy to implement. Using Unistream Sirius, the modular building or Unistream PLC, it enables you to remote control and monitor via VNC or a web server. Remote data access can be done via FTP or SQL. And application modifications such as download, upload, debug, using Unilogic, our great programming environment, can be done very easily. These amazing PLCs can also provide notifications such as SMS, email, MQTD publication to the cloud or even subscription to the cloud to get data. And also you can protect the HMI access by multi-level password feature. So if you are talking now about the Unistream series, every Unistream PLC can be VNC enabled. One can download any VNC client application from the web and remote control the PLC. It can access the HMI, the user screens, and even our built-in system screens for debugging or any setup. All this can be done, of course, via PC, mobile, or tablet. Let's take a quick look on uh, our VNC. So I will just open now a VNC client that I have on my PC. I need just to type the IP address of the PLC, click on connect. I need to enter a password for security. And I'm getting access to the HMI of my PLC. I can view the information. I can control the PLC like I'm standing next to the machine. If I want to go to the system screens, I can touch the upper right corner, go to the UniApps, which is our system screens. And from here, you can access the tags if, of your application, for example. Okay, you can even change some tags if you like. You can see the network setting or set up statistics about, let's say, some Modbus communication or other. Many things can be done automatically from the system screen, which helps to debug the system on site and off site using remote access. Another way of remote accessing our Unistream PLCs is using its web server great features. Unistream web server is based on HTML5, but the great thing about it is that you can build your page, your web pages, just like the HMI editor. Drag and drop, link the tags, and you are done. You can create advanced web pages in a few minutes while if you needed to code it by HTML or JavaScript, it would require programming knowledge and will take much more time. Unistream Web Server offers a large library of elements, widgets, and enables you to easily design amazing web pages. In terms of connectivity, many clients can connect at the same time while each user has have its own profile, meaning each user will see only the pages that he was allowed to see. 
So let's see a quick demo. I will just type the IP address of my PLC in the web browser. Automatically, I'm getting to the home page that I was creating in our programming environment. Let's say I will go to the water management. And here we can see our system. We can control it from here. You can see how nice are the widgets. In a moment, I will show also how easy it is to create it. For example, we can go to the trend page and we can see the real time trend. We can see history of the trend. Like I mentioned before, the web server offers many tools and widgets that you can use in your web pages. If I will open our programming environment and go to the web server design. So we can see here, for example, this is how the page looks like. Like you just saw before, I can just remove one of the elements and very easily, we can go to the toolbox. And like I mentioned, by drag and drop, we can pick an element, draw it on the screen, link in the tag link, the tag that we want to represent in the widget. Let's say it will be the pressure of the pump. Of course, we have many options for designing each one of these elements. So for example, I will just pick some design for this widget and I'm done. Another option here is to, if I will add a new web page, you can see I'm getting a, like a blank page. You can see here at this area where the HMI pages are, I can open one of the HMI pages. And if I'm already created some of the elements that I want to use in the web pages, I can just copy and paste them. So for example, I can copy the tank and this uh, power light. I can go back to my web page and just paste it here. It's already linked to the tag. Everything is ready for you. So I can copy from HMI to the web. And I can also convert a whole HMI page into a web page. So just by right click, I can export the screen to a web server and the system will export it. And we can see here, the HMI page is now a web page. So you can save a lot of time when you created the screen already in HMI and you want to see it also in the web browser. If we are talking about our Vision and Samba series, these can be remote controlled and monitor using our utility remote operator. The remote operator is also supported by mobile. So anyone can download it from the App Store or from Google Play. Download, configure the setting to, to connect to the PLC and you are ready to go. Very easily done. I will just give a, a quick demo about remote operator. So here is remote operator. We can add as many PLCs as we like, configure each PLC communication settings, IP and port number, the PLC name. We can check that there is a connection to the PLC. We are getting the model and just clicking on the run button, we can see our PLC and we can control it like we are standing next to it. Uh, there is an option here to see many PLCs at the same time. We can even go to a full screen mode. So very easy to communicate, very easy to implement. 
and you can download it at no cost from our website. In terms of data transfer and recipes, our controllers enables you first to make a data logging, transfer the data, and even change the data, the recipes, from a remote location. If we are talking about the Unistream PLCs, we can do it by FTP or SQL. And if it's the Vision or Samba series, we can do it using the SD card suite or remote operator. We'll see a quick demo for the Unistream series. So I'm connected now to the Unistream PLC. I will go to my production recipes table. So right now you can see that the table is empty or let's say the table can have also some values, but let's say I prepared a CSV file with the new recipes for production. The only thing I need to do is to use an FTP client. In this case, drag the file into the PLC folder. And we can see in a moment that the data automatically filled with the information from the file. So as easy as that, prepare your CSV file send it by FTP to the controller and you have the new data. Same goes uh, by SQL. Uh, by the way, I see that the, there are some questions. Uh, at the end of this webinar, I will give time for questions. Other remote options supported by Unitronics controllers are SMS, you can send even SMS to the controller to turn on and off your machine, let's say, change the set point, whatever action you would like to do via SMS. You can use MQTT for publishing information to the cloud or subscribing to some topics on the cloud in order to get changes on your controller from remote. Supporting OPC UA. Uh, this is a very uh, popular now protocol for Industry 4.0. That means that uh, SCADA system, for example, as an OPC client can connect to our controller, which performs an OPC UA server and can read and write data. UniOPC, which is OPC DA for our Vision and Samba series, Data Export tool that enables you to read from the Vision and Samba series, data tables and tags, and the FTP server and client, again, for file transfer. So just to summarize, Unitronics Remote Access enables you to view and control from anywhere, supporting PC, tablet, or mobile phones, easy and quick configuration, multiple, user can be connected at the same time, and the ability to restrict user access with the multi-level password feature. Now we all understand that these days, remote access is essential. This is the time to control remotely over your site. 